Team Artwork, what's going on everybody? I hope y'all doing good out there. How you doing? My name is Sharess May. And in this video, well first, happy 2020. Let me back up. Happy 2020, happy new year to you wherever you are in the world. I know some of you all may have seen me on a live presentation. If you have not, it's good to meet you, all right? Um, I wanna share my screen real quick. And one of the things I wanna talk about in this video is how to actually begin getting high paying collectors all right and one of the things that i've noticed and we actually teach this in the affluent artist program is a lot of artists don't know how to actually create an offer that gets someone to want to buy your art in the first place all right and so no matter what situation you're in right now you may be selling a lot of art um you may not be selling art you may um have a difficult financial situation one of the things that you can do when you create an irresistible offer is actually pre-sell your art to start getting some sales okay and so first what is an irresistible offer so an irresistible offer um this is how you bundle your art your bonus gifts and the price and you have to give collectors a reason to act now all right and so the first part of your irresistible offer is your art all right this is the number one part of your co-offer and um, with packaging your art, you want to make sure that it's done professionally so when people get it, they get a wow experience, all right? Um, one of the things I've seen is that artists, let's say we create and find art and you have a beautiful piece, but when collectors buy it, you treat it like it's a family dollar piece of art, right? You give it to them, they throw it in the back of their trunk, um, all kind of things that devalue your art. So you want to make sure that is packaged and presented pre professionally to the collector once it's delivered. Um, so in addition to having your core piece of art, you also want to add some bonus gifts to the art. So we wanna focus on high value, low cost gifts and add-ons that sweeten the deal. And so these can be prints, referral gifts um, or experiences, right? So let's say if you're selling a canvas and you in addition to the canvas you could have some prints of the same piece you could potentially have prints of additional pieces pieces to encourage them to want to um, purchase your art later or other different pieces later you could give gifts for referrals and also you can have experiences packaged in with your offer that um, they can meet you talk to you on the phone a lot of people love to see and experience an artist creating their work and so that can add a lot of value to what you're doing as well okay and so um, the way we think about the price when we're crafting our offer is that we want to, one, raise our price and get paid as much as we possibly can, all right? And I like calling that um, pricing high and justifying. And so we like to do what's called price bracketing. And so you can bracket your price higher and emphasize the long-term value to the collector instead of your small asking price, okay? So let's say, what do we mean when we say bracket? So let's say if you want to you know, sell a piece for a thousand dollars. We actually like to bracket it and ask for, you know, maybe twelve hundred to fifteen hundred dollars or more, because what that does is it gives you the opportunity to negotiate down to get that one thousand dollar price point that you asked for. OK. And in addition to bracketing your price, we also like to add scarcity and urgency. And so um, fortunately for us, because we're selling art, Art has some built in scarcity because if you are creating an original, typically it's going to be a one of one. Right. And so once that's gone, it's gone. Um, but you also want to add urgency to get collectors to want to buy now, because when people have a deadline, they take faster action. All right. So here's an example. Um, so we can have um, example different offers. We can have one of one. Um, right. That's if you create an original. It's in a one of one. We can tell people to name their price with some type of order minimum, right? Something that we've seen a lot of artists do um, successfully. So let's say if you're selling well, anything, you may tell a collector, hey, you can buy this, um, name your price, have a minimum of $50. And what you will realize is oftentimes collectors will pay much more than a minimum and you'll make a lot more than what it costs you to produce the art, okay? A lot of our young artists have used those type of offers um, to kind of make their first sales and get in the game. Um, also, buy one, get one. Those are very popular. Having limited editions, using coupons for the next purchase, adding free gifts to your artwork, um, etc. So I want you to really think about 
what type of offer you want to create is going to be irresistible to make the collector want to buy it and that's going to um, really help you start selling some art quickly all right and then the last thing we want to discuss is we want you to focus on adding value to your offer and what you're selling instead of dropping the price okay so what do i mean a lot of artists to get a sale let's say if you want to sell a piece for a thousand dollars um or whatever your price is some artists think okay i need to give a discount or i need to somehow lower the value of the price because that's the reason a collector isn't buying and so instead of dropping prices we like to add bonuses and add um gifts to the offer to sweeten the deal to make it even more valuable versus lowering the price so it's, let's say if we want to sell something for a thousand dollars um instead of say discounting it to 900 800 or any other price we want to give you the canvas um the full canvas piece or whatever you're selling and in addition to that we'll give you some bonus prints um and any other free gifts that's appropriate for you and your art business all right so again this video is talking about crafting one irresistible offer to make a collector want to buy it from you at whatever price you desire and so if you're just trying to sell your art one off um and you're not creating a package that incentivizes a collector to buy now and also buy at whatever high price you set is going to be challenging for you to do so but if you create an offer and you have something for um, a collector to buy and get excited about not only will this help your sales increase you can also begin pre-selling your art um, so collectors will be eager to buy it before you actually finish creating the piece all right so again, my name is Sharess May. I hope this video was helpful. Um, we're going to be going live um, doing short videos and content like this to make sure that we help you get the sales that you need in 2022 and beyond. All right. If you're interested in uh, becoming an affluent artist and talking to us about how our program can help you begin selling art this week, you can actually go to affluentartist.com forward slash free to register for our free live training, or you can comment me below this video right here and uh, we'll send you a dm to talk more about it to see if we can um, understand your goals and some of the things you're trying to accomplish this year all right so again my name is charest may i'll see you all on the inside